In this video, we're going to integrate from 3 to 4 of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4 over x cubed minus 2x squared. One thing to notice is that in the numerator we have x cubed minus 2x squared, and so we have that in the denominator. So let's break this up into two fractions. The first fraction is going to have the numerator x cubed minus 2x squared. And the second fraction is going to have negative 4. And so now the first fraction, the numerator and the denominator are the same, so they're going to cancel and get 1. So this is the integral simplified, but I still need to do some work with the second fraction. So I can factor out an x squared in the denominator, and I'm going to multiply that by x minus 2. The goal here is to use partial fraction decomposition and to break it up into simpler fractions. So let's start with negative 4 over x squared times x minus 2. The idea is to get all factors of x squared. All factors of x squared are x and x squared. And then for x minus 2, we just have x minus 2. The numerator is going to be a, b, and c. So we're going to have to multiply both sides by x squared times x minus 2. So on the left, we're going to have negative 4 left over. And on the right is ax times x minus 2 plus b times x minus 2 plus c times x squared. Now, if you like, you can simplify this. And notice that the first two terms have x minus 2 in common. And so the coefficient for that will be ax plus b. And then we'll have cx squared by itself. So I chose not to do this, but you definitely could do it. So moving on, we, we're going to plug in values that make one of the terms, or one of the coefficients, 0. So let's see, if I plug in x equals 0, this c is gone, and so is this a. So we're left with b times negative 2, and that's equal to negative 4, so b has to be 2. So now we're going to plug in x equals 2 to make these first two terms go away. And we're left with negative 4 equals 4c. And so c is negative 1. Finally, we're, we can plug in any value for x. Since 0 and 2 makes this disappear, 2 makes this disappear, and 0 makes this disappear. So we already used up 0, negative 2. So let's just plug in an easy one like x equals 1. And we get negative 4 equals negative a minus 2 minus 1. And so a has to equal 1. So now we just need to bring it all together. This is the coefficient of a, b, and c. So I'm just going to multiply both sides, or rather divide both sides by x cubed minus 2x squared. Or if you want, x squared times x minus 2. And so this is what we simplified it down to previously. And we're just going to replace it with what we just found, 1 over x plus 2 over x squared minus 1 over x minus 2. And here you don't want to fall for the, the trap of putting a minus in front of the 1 over x, since this entire thing is 1 over x plus 2 over x squared minus 1 over x minus 2. Now I, I can integrate this fairly easy. So the antiderivative of 1 is x, 1 over x is ln of x, 2 over x squared is negative 2 over x, 1 over x minus 2 is ln x minus 2. And then the, the minus sign just drops down. And so we're going to evaluate this from 3 to 4. Plug in 4. And then plug in 3. Subtract these two values. So 4 minus 3 becomes 1. And then we have ln of 4 minus ln of 3. That's over here. Then we have negative 2 fourths minus negative 2 thirds. That's 1 sixth. And ln of 4 minus 2 is ln of 2. So we have a minus ln of 2. And then we have 3 minus 2 is 1. So ln of 1 is 0. So this goes away. Now I can simplify this. So in general, when you have ln of x minus ln of y, that's going to be ln of x over y. So for us, we have ln of 4 minus ln of 3. That's ln of 4 thirds. But we also have ln of 2. So that's just going to be ln of 4 over 6, which is just ln of 2 thirds. And so this is all 
the sign here is going to be positive. And now we just do 1 plus 1 sixth is 7 over 6. So our final answer is 7 over 6 plus ln of 2 thirds.